fraud is a fascinating scientific area because no one likes to be deceived and we all like to get what we are paying for. Food fraud is as old as mankind. Already when the old Greeks were there, there was uh, adulteration with wine. We work on analytical methods that are able to detect food frauds. These are advanced analytical methods that look into issues like melamine in infant formula or uh, the horse meat in beef or uh, other products. I've always had a passion for food composition in relation to food chemistry and food physics. The composition of the food is very important in order to distinguish adulterated food from uh, the genuine food. We are looking for specific markers that may originate from the geology, the, the soil or where a plant is grown for instance, the climate, but it depends also on for instance the processing technology of a food. Uh, then we are looking for specific markers that are carried from the start up to the end product and we use analytical techniques in combination with statistics to uh, develop a sort of fingerprint, a natural fingerprint of this food. I've been working for the past eight years on food authenticity at Riekel Wageningen UA and we have developed a very good group of scientists on food authenticity. I'm very pleased that I've gotten the opportunity now to educate uh, the new generation of food authenticity scientists at Wageningen UA.